Mm-mm. All right, Shalom, Shalom to the whole full elect of the nation of Israel. We're going to start off this lesson this, by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone rule well. And that's taught us this word in truth and sincerity. All right, in peace and mercy to the old full elect and also pushing this word across the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity. And you little amount of sisters that may believe as well. Um, as you can see, the title here is an introduction uh, to the pure tongue, pure language, which is um, the Hebrew, but in the Hebrew is is called the Lashwan Kadash. And uh, this is inspired by, you know, what Apostle Rukar said on the New Year's Eve live when he mentioned he's talking to some new brothers that have come into this truth and basically asked them a couple questions on the Hebrew and they didn't know anything really. So, you know, it's really good. For, it's really, it's very good for us to go through these things, right? It's, uh, especially for newer, newer comers in this truth to understand the Hebrew and to recite it over and over again, make it a practice you know, and um, that's where your foundation be, should be built upon is the Hebrew. That's that's yeah. our heritage. That's our custom. That's our tongue. Not these uh, languages that we've been born with or came up with in, you know, in uh, under, uh, what do you call it, uh, captivity. Okay. So I'm going to pull up here the language, the tongue. As you see here, the he- it says ancient Hebrew alphabet. So it's, it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-two characters. Okay, in the Hebrew alphabet. And you see two different kind of Hebrew alphabets here. The top one is Paleo or Phoenician, the Phoenician Hebrew. Paleo or Phoenician Hebrew. The bottom one here. Is what most people are more uh, familiar with. Most people are more familiar with is the Assyrian Hebrew. Okay, and these and this the reason why there's a difference between the two is because under the Assyrian captivity, which is also the Babylonian captivities, because the Babylonians, a lot of the Babylonians were there were Assyrians. Okay, so it got switch. We we kind of switched it up a little bit when we got. Uh, exiled out of uh, the land of Israel and taken by the Babylonians, right? By the prophecy of Jeremiah. So the proper pronunciation for these characters, we're going to deal with the Phoenician Hebrew. You're going to see both. And by the way, the Hebrew is read from right to left. Okay. So you can see here. This man has you reading left to right. And right. writing left to right. Right. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's just a little side note of the backwardsness. Right. Go right gone, gone. And so you see in here. His kingdom, the, in his kingdom, the left is virtue. Virtue. Right. That's what he calls. Slack it, brother. No, it's okay. You it's mean to good. cut you there, but I did some looking into that. Um, the left there for him is virtue, which is, mm-hmm. we know we know what it is. It's deception. In spirit and in truth, but anyway, go ahead, brother. Come, come. Go true. So, you see these little characters here, and Lord willing, you know, we do a series to this. We'll go into these characters in upcoming lessons, and you know, explain them as well. But uh, first character is A, A H. Then the second character is Ba, Ga. For the third character, da, ha, and wa. And if you're catching on, you're seeing that these are like the vowels sounds that we have in the English uh, language where they say, ah, uh, you know, ah, uh, ga, ba, ga. These are all, these all derive from the ancient Hebrew language. Yeah, these are consonants, basically. Con- yeah, that's right. right. Consonant, which means right. uh, with mm-hmm. sound, right? With and that's sound. what that means. So this is these are things that a baby would say, Calm. right? You would hear a baby say these consonants, and that you know that mm-hmm. just shows you any kind of baby, 
Right. You know? That's right. But then they pick up the tongue of the, you know, obviously the people they're with. But you know, brothers got to get into this, and and you know, write it out. If you're like that, if you're better at learning, you know, yeah. memorizing and writing, some brothers can just look at it and, and get it in, in their mind. You know, mm-hmm. there's different ways. Like I used to just write it out repeatedly. I just got a notepad. I wrote out each yeah. character just to see how you know how to how to write it. Yeah. You know, you can write it well, and then you can learn to pronounce it, and then you can memorize it. Right. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know. Mm. Yeah. Wa, za, ka, ta, ya, ka. Yeah, right. that that ka is really like a ka. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. Because cool. that's the two differentiation of ka and then ka. Yeah. If you right. want to be technical. You know, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. just, just for the you know, for brothers, you know, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Um, and you have here the little hook, it says la, ma, na, sa, i, pa, taza, ka, ka, qua, 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 qua. 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 That's right. Qua. Like like Lashawan Kwadash, right? Exactly. Fine. Qua. Ra, Sha, and Fa. Mm-hmm. So that's, you know, you pause and replay this section, pause and replay this section, and that's how you properly pronounce each character in uh, the Hebrew alphabet. And don't forget, this is different from Ka here. It's Ha. Ka, right? You gotta have to pronounce, uh, practice that little, um, um, uh, uh, if or gif in the beginning of it to give it that different sound from this. And you see here, these different, the same pronunciations. Don't get mixed up with the uh, different characters. The same pronunciations, just these different characters, right? Yep. I also have here. Um, certain words now this is a good website for brothers new and newer brothers if you want to get get into the you know getting when you're getting into the hebrew and you're getting all the words down this is uh great millstone dot info and this is basically the hebrew booklet when it comes to all our words mm-hmm. and so it has about around ma sa ma sa ma sab ma sab right Abundant is Rob, except is Quabal. So you can go through all these different um, words. And each word, so lucky when you go yeah. up, go up, please again. Yeah. Like, like the, the next one that says a cross, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's Ba'ad, right? Con. So it's like each each consonant is, is really, is really um, sound. You, you make sound with it. That's what right. I mean, consonant with sound. Mm-hmm. Ba'ad. But I, right? So, right. you know, like for example, but, but it, it just shows you there's no so called um, silent letters. Like in English, you have literature class, English class, or oh, you have mm-hmm. silent. You know, what the hell is that, man? Right, right. You know, <laughs> you'll have a letter in front and you can't pronounce it all. You, it's, just, it's just there. It's silent. <laughs> yep. I actually got a quick reset because uh, your point. Because basically, when you sing, you make sounds. Mm-hmm. That's basically what you're doing, you know. It's, yeah, it's like a note. It's a note. That's yeah. right. You're singing to the Lord. And so, mm-hmm. let me get this quick reset up here. And that's mm-hmm. why you have what uh, Psalms, right? Which is really a song, right? Those are those are those are things that you'd be singing to the Lord. In the Hebrew, if you were to sing, if you would read the precepts and psalms in the Hebrew, it would sound like you were with, with perfect pronunciation. It would sound like you're singing. Exactly. That's why at the high holy days we rehearse, and when right. we when we pray, it's like a song. When right. We send the curses when we do the Shema, Yashar Allah, right? Yeah, yeah. con, con, con. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, this is Psalms one hundred four. And 33, and it reads, 
Um, I will sing unto the Lord, Yahweh. As long as I live, I will sing praises to my power while I have my beginnings, my begin, my being, Slacky, my being. You know, um, I my meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. So basically, man, you know, just hitting the point that this thing's about singing, like you're truly singing when you're speaking in the Hebrew, right? And like I said, if you would, if we would have perfect pronunciation, right, we would be singing. It would sound like we're singing the sweet sound to the Heavenly Father. So I also have this too here. This uh, this page here, just so for brothers, this page also gives you the hold on let me just pull it out right here it also gives you oh it won't come up and, and as a just a side note when when the brother mentioned paleo hebrew yeah. that's just a term that the scholars call it and that paleo just means ancient hebrew but it's pretty much ancient you know mm -hmm. It, it's pretty much a, a, a fact that that's Hebrew because you have a bunch of countless um, stone inscriptions and all kinds of artifacts that mm -hmm. have that exact yeah. Hebrew. And that exact Hebrew, which predates the Syrian Hebrew, which the brother showed before, the second one, right? Yeah. Um, that that exact Hebrew, the, the ancient one, the Paleo, is found in America, right? Yeah. In things like the Las Lunas stone, the, the Back Creek yeah. stone. More by stone. Uh, I think there's one called the Cherokee Stone, mm -hmm. right? So there's a lot. Yeah, that's right. And um, yeah, the water. Con. And uh, I was just gonna say when you go into uh, so when you go to this website, GreatMillstone.info, it actually gives you all the prayers as well. So you can see the prayers here. This is. It tells you this is what uh, numbers six and twenty five. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. So this is something that you would say to another brother. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, this is part of the anointing, I think. Yeah. Or the anoint like it's one of the uh prayers. Right. Cause because that has the Sabbath service. So brothers that they think the whole Sabbath service is so complicated. No, man, just look it up for yourself so you know the flow of it. Yeah, you know, exactly. you're not just, oh, me, what's, what's he going to say next? Okay, what's going to happen next? <laughs> you got to <laughs> look it up, you know? Yeah. It's not a deep thing. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me just get it. You know, the wine blessing and all these other things, right? Yeah. Yeah, the wine blessing. You can even get uh, the Lord's Prayer, which is very important, man. That should be something that you do in the Hebrew, the Lord's Prayer is here. And he even tells you, you know, our father, Abba Nawah. Yep. Yeah. Right. And you see all the characters again from right to left, which is in heaven, Shabbat Shemayim. Yeah. And it's like a side note, right? Man, this just brought a flashback because yeah. I used to write out this prayer after I learned the Hebrew. So you brothers can learn the Hebrew, the, the concept of each letter. And right. then you can, and then you can start writing out prayers and get fancy with 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 words, you know, and then you can start doing all that. Like everything you see here, you can write it out as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it'll be in your mind more. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yep. And you know, um, something that I used to do when I was uh, uh, coming up earlier is like, because these some of these words are big, right? You see, yep. Mayim, These are big yep. words, you know. Yep. Wasalakanawa, yep. you know, these are huge words. So I would break it up mm -hmm. in the vowels or the uh what was that word you said again? Oh, the, con the consonant. Yeah, the consonant. Yeah. Yep. The word. You know, I'd break yeah, because there's only a there's only there's not a lot of vowels in the in the ancient Hebrew. Right. If you look it up, there's only ah, uh, um, there's no e. Yeah. You know. Um it's it's mainly it's, it's basically sounds, things you can make out. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so when you come to these big words, you can break them up. And say, yeah, kind of. 
you could break them up and say them by the consonant, by the two word, the letter word, right? Ka, sa, la, na, wa. Ka, sa, la, ka, na, wa. You know, once you get good with it. So these are little tricks that you break them up in pieces. That's right. Say That's it. Right. You can break up the word, like the first word, Abba, na, wa. Right. You can, yeah. you, can, you can look and say, okay, Abba is father, and then mm -hmm. na, wa is our. And then you just learn something. Exactly. And, and then your brothers, you know, that get into Hebrew, you know that whenever you, whenever you add the Nawa at the end of something, then it makes it our. Exactly. Right? God. That's right. That's right. Right? Like Shamka, right? Your name. Yeah, Ka, when you add the Ka, that means it makes it your. Your, exactly. At the end. So certain things like that, you start learning, catching on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me bring up this precept too, because you know it's it's not a coincidence. You know, you might want to, you might say to yourself as a newcomer, a newcomer in this faith, and say to yourself, you know, why is all this important? You know, I, I speak English, and doesn't the Lord understand my language? In the, understand me in the language I speak? He does absolutely, but there's more power and force behind the Hebrew language. Actually, let me get that first. Yeah, so that's, 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 I'll just say it, that's a lazy mindset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, yeah. because you got to study, you know, and it's you got to, you got to understand that this is a backwards ass tongue anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, exactly. it's really, it's really a cursed tongue. So the more you speak, the more you, you say simple things like Khan to a brother, shal Shalom. You yeah. know, um, you know, just use little Hebrew words, man. Salaki, brother. Salaki, yeah. Ak, you know, yeah. and then some brothers mess up because they say, um, I heard it before, but some brothers they mix up the English and the Hebrew. They say like, um, um, like they'll say something like "ak." Yeah, uh, they'll say like "akiams," but well, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they'll add the "s," but you don't need that because that's that, that doesn't that's not Hebrew. Yeah, because yeah. plural brothers is just "akiam," but you'll mm -hmm. try to you know like "akiams," like it's in Hebrew yeah. English. Yeah. yeah, little yeah. things like that. You gotta, you know, you'll start learning, right? Yeah, kind. Of. But uh, this is just if you, if you get, if you brothers go into your prophetica or yeah. you know, you read the prologue for Sirach, the first chapter, right? It tells you in the prologue that um, there's more force to be uttered. There's more force behind the Hebrew language, you know? And that's because it's the original language, really, the Lashwan Kadash, right, which we'll get we'll get into right away here, is the original language of the whole earth. And that's why it's also called the pure tongue, the pure language. Pure song. But yeah, go for yourself. I can't really, I'm not going to read through all this, but go through yourself, find this prologue, get, get the prologue, read the prologue in the in the Apophica, and you can read it, and it'll and it'll tell you that the Hebrew language has more has more force in it. Mm -hmm. Are you so, trying to find that part? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so lucky, my bad. Hold on. It's all good. Um, I got it highlighted. So it's... Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just read it so it okay. says it says mm -hmm. wherefore let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us wherein we may seem to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret mm -hmm. for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them and not only these things but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language. Mm -hmm. You see? So, it, you know, the changing of the Hebrew or the last walk and dash into all these other different uh, languages actually water, water down the power, the force in behind, it, you know, water down the force and the power of us connecting with the Heavenly Father. Because if we're speaking Greek or English, you know, the most high is just having mercy on us, you know, by hearing us, you know, by responding to us. Right. But once you've received this truth and you and 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 you know you receive you receive the language, 
you know, you got to put in the work, the study, right? So you can strengthen your relationship with the Heavenly Father. Because I, I myself have done, um, yeah, there you go. It's right here. I myself have um, <laughs> put up curses <laughs> in the Hebrew. And, man, you see some crazy things, man. I'm pretty sure we all have had experiences mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's that's for your own, you know, for your own testimony and for your own the, to build up your own faith and show you the power behind the Hebrew, man. So let me get this uh, Zephaniah three and nine. Um, it says, "For then will I turn to the people, the people being the Israelites that are scattered abroad, a pure language, the." that they may call upon the name of the Lord Yahweh to serve him with one consent. Yeah, so it was prophecy that we were going to come back to this language, right? And this and 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 call upon that's how we were able to, to receive the name of the Lord. John, and we're not fully there, but yeah. it's it's like a shadow of like as Paul said, a shadow of things to come. A shadow of things to come. You know, so it's just like it's like mm -hmm. a resemblance. We're just we're just getting back. Hey, we're just waking up, man. You know, you just wake up. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's true. so groggy. It's true. It's you right. Know? Yeah. Very <laughs> true. Paul said that he said he the said Lord is waking up the baby. Um, in Corinthians, I think, right? He mentioned um, you know, we don't see yeah. clearly. Yeah. It's like a it's like a mist, and then but he said, but soon we'll see like face to face. Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So let's go through this word here, here, language, right? And it's pure language. Let me pull up the alphabet. So, like we say, you read it from right to left. So the first character, first character there is this half half square looking like character. Right, which would be what ba. Right, and then you have basically a back. Uh, yeah, this one's a little. This one you got to more study because it's some of these characters. They look very. They oh. resemble each other. Yeah. You know, and this is a little bit more meticulous than the ancient Hebrew. Right. But it's also necessary, man. You got to do it. Yeah. You know, like like to the best of your ability, but at least. The very least, what you see up top, your brother should know. Con, you know? Con. But yeah. what the brother's doing now, he's he's trying to chop down the, the blue letter because it's basically like a code, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To read it in the ancient. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So you see here, we, get, we got Ba, and then you got the seven lookalike character. That gives us what? Da. And another seven look like character. So you see these little characters here on the bottom. You see the line and the line with the dot. So um, when you here, let me see if I can pull it up here. Um, let's see. OK, I can't really pull it up here, but I'll just see if I can explain it simply. So basically, when you see these little characters, these dots on the bottom, you take because each each character has two letters to it, two two letters to it. So if the last character has that line to it, you're only taking one letter from that character, which is, I'm not mistaken, the first letter or the second letter, sorry, right, and adding it to the second character. So here, this is what, what word is this? This is peer, a peer language. Peer. So uh, we go to peer in this. We'll find it right here. Peer. The word peer is. Uh, oh, they don't even have it in here. The word pure, if I'm not mistaken, is supposed to be Tahar. Ah, Khan. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. 
wonder why they didn't some words is that, the same, is that the same word for clean uh see well? and this is why and this is see this is why listen the blue letter it goes off it goes off at times hmm. because that's what they should have but when you see here yeah because they put clean they put clean right it says which is supposed to be purify clean. select polish to purge purge out it says to cleanse make shiny right to test prove so they're bringing all these different kind of definitions when with it says to be clean when there should be one definition for the one word but yeah yeah the water elder yeah the the word for uh peer is tahar actually right so when we go into language you're going to see lash lasha one Lasha one. See they what do they say here? Let's see what <laughs> Strong's H eighty one ninety three. Safa. <laughs> Safa. Okay, so that's what you heard. Look how much of a difference it is from that to that. So again, you see this is like a, a weird W look alike. Almost look like the, the, the tour candles or the the, the candle, candlesticks. Yeah, menorah candlesticks, con. Yeah, like if it's like I went to um, I typed in pure. Yeah. And I pulled up uh, Exodus twenty five eleven for example, mm. it mentions and thou shalt overlay it with pure gold. When you look up that word pure, uh, it's tahawar, and then when you go to the root, it's tahar. Ah, look at that. Which means uh to be clean, be pure. Be pure. Mm -hmm. uh, to be clean physically of disease. Mm. Yeah. You see, wow. Beautiful. I don't know that Hebrew, bro. And the, yeah, this is how Strong's H twenty eight eighty nine. Tahor. Strong H twenty eight eighty nine. Tahor. Excuse me, Salah. Hey, there's no O in Hebrew. All right. Yeah, gone. Gone. Tahor. Right, and mm -hmm. like you see the root Tahar. Mm -hmm. Tahar. And like the like the elders brought out, it means to be clean, to be pure, to be clean, right? So, last one. You see that there. So this is something that you know, like you're gonna con like I constantly. I know my first couple of years, I was constantly going back and forth. And when Apostle Tahar would say that the blue letter goes off, this is when I could I could I could start to see it clearly. You know, when you go into the Hebrew, you can see that the blue letter goes off from mm -hmm. here time to time. Mm-hmm. So, let me pull this out here. Hey, can you pull oh. up after Zephaniah, uh, Isaiah 19? Con, Isaiah and, uh, 19. Yeah, because that's a prophecy, man. That's 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 the answer to why brothers ask, oh, why do we got to get, you know, to the Hebrew? Con. And it's not to say that every... Every brother is going to be a super duper Israelite that knows the Hebrew. You know, you're not going to have a doctorate in Paleo Hebrew, but hmm. at least you know the alphabet, man. Yeah. You know what certain <laughs> things mean, and then you can develop that knowledge. Yeah. Right. Isaiah 19 and 1 or? Uh, eight, I think it's 18. Right. Uh, the language of uh, Canaan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Con, the five cities, right? Or something like that. In that day, yeah. 19, it might be 19. 19 and 18, right? Check that one. Sorry. It says, in that in that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan mm -hmm. and swear to the Lord of host. One shall be called this city, the city of destruction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're in modern day Egypt. That's right. You know, and... um one when it mentions the language language of Canaan, yeah. that's why it's sometimes it's called Phoenician. Phoenician, right? Phoenicians were Canaanites on mm -hmm. the coastline, right? Of of, uh, of uh, Zidon and um, yeah, was it Tyrus? Tyrus and Zidon. Tyre, yeah, Tyrus, Tyrus and Zidon, right? Yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of um, you know uh, Hebrew artifacts from from over there as well. That's but right. they call it Phoenician, which is a buzzword for Canaanite. In the language of Canaan, 
which Israel was known as what before is known as the land of Canaan. Kind, kind. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, man. And, uh, you know, you could uh, real quick, actually, brother just sent me this real quick on the Moabite stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of freezing now. Come on now. These gremlins, man. Mm -hmm. We've been getting that. <laughs> yeah, just give it a couple seconds here, man. Oh, it froze up? Yeah, it froze a little bit. Yeah, it just does that for a second. Ah, there we go. Uh, I have a precept uh, yeah. based on what the elder went into in regards to the language, right? And it's, you notice it says the language, we're, we're actually speaking about the language, not languages, but mm -hmm. the language, huh. right? Which is, all right, so this precept here in Genesis 10, it's going to show you, show us the whole, all the families. Real right? quick, you bring this up? You got it? No, yeah, go yeah, for that first, because this is, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. We mentioned uh, the see this picture here. So basically, you can see um, it's called the Mesha Stele, the mm -hmm. Moabite Stone, 835 BC, the ancestors of the Chinese race. So that's what the <laughs> Moabites are. All right. And uh, real quick, it says the Moabite Stone was discovered in 1868 about 20 miles east of the Dead Sea. What is most amazing is that it mentions Israel, Yahweh, and the House of David. It is now in the Louvre Museum in Paris. The Bible says that Mesha, Mesha the king of, of Moab, stopped paying tribute to Israel Mesha, king of Moab, rebelled against the king of Israel, 2 Kings 3 and 5. Well, Mesha made his own record of the rebellion. It is known today as the Mesha Stele, or the more popular des designation, the Moabite Stone. It was found in 1868 at Daibon, in Moab, both documents, Second Kings 3, 3 and 5, 3 and, 5 and the Mesha inscription describe the same event. So they, so both the inscription on was written on the Moabite stone and was written in Second Kings 3 and 5 describe the same event, or Second Kings the third chapter describe the same event. To revolt of Mesha but from ent entirely different perspectives. So as you see here, if I zoom in, you see the Lord's name in, in the uh, Paleo ancient or Phoenician Hebrew, mm -hmm. right to left, these characters right here. Okay. Just to show you, man, that this thing, this, this language was a language that that's from the ancient, literally from the ancient, man. All right, Elder, go ahead. You you say you had a precept? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, real quick, basically, um, I was looking for it. That's why it took so long, but I didn't find the one that talks about that. What we're going into is a command from the Lord. So it's a commandment. Zephaniah 3 and 9 mm -hmm. all right, as well. And I was looking for it in the Torah. Well, yeah, right, because it tells us that the language and sp the speaking of he the Hebrew is a command to Israel, right? But what I wanted to do, since you it came out with the Meshesteli and what the elder had mentioned in regards to who spoke the language, um, basically I was just going to go to the record, mm -hmm. which is <laughs> which is in our Hebrew booklet. That's where I'm getting it from because I couldn't find what I really want. So Genesis ten. Um, right. If, if you could get to Genesis 10, right, 25, uh, 21 to 25, just to, 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 to read that, that goes into 
the pure language that uh, there was a time when we all spoke one language and it was this language. Yeah. 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 Let me get okay. the 11 and 1 now. I'll come back to this because that's actually yeah, okay. exactly mm -hmm. what you're talking about. <laughs> I was going to go next, but beautiful. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, ahead. go Genesis, there first. Genesis uh, chapter 11, verse 1, it says, And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. Okay, so that shows you just shows shows you that the earth was of one language and of one speech. I just want to see. See the blue letter goes off when you go to language because mm. when you pull up language here in the Hebrew booklet, I'm just gonna pull mm -hmm. it up real quick. Language. Language, right? It says language uh right here, language tongue. Lashwan, Lashawan, right? Now, blue letter, when you go into language, has, you know, that menorah looking character, mm -hmm. which starts you off with Sha, mm -hmm. right? And then this other character, which is here, um, that would be Pa. And then... This like kind of broken like a house almost like oops house look yeah house look like it's um ha so it would be sha sha pa ha but that's not correct all right so again so that's why you have to oh, you know what hold yeah. on I found it um these guys play games but okay. if you go to uh Deuteronomy twenty eight forty nine Okay. The word tongue there is Lasha one. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's get that. Do not twenty. Yeah, these devils play around, man. <laughs> they do forty nine. Uh, yeah, twenty eight and forty. Forty nine. Yeah. Right. Last word tongue. Tongue. So let's get that real quick. You see, this is a, <laughs> you devil play around like the devil said. Tongue. Yeah, see, and this, how did they say it here? They say Strong's H thirty nine fifty six. Lashon, Lashon. So we got like a squiggly sign. <laughs> That's That's right, right. Yeah, this is Lashon. Right. So almost like a snake and ladder sign, right? The snake is there, and. um when you look at that, um, it says la. So we're starting off on the right foot. La. Oops. La. And then the menorah sign again. La. Yeah, that, that la is, is some letters are easy to remember because they kind of look, they have resemblances to the ancient. Mm -hmm. You know, like very unique. Like the la, you can tell there's, there's, there's really no... Yeah, like you know. here. Yeah. The law mm -hmm. here and the law there. Yeah, that's true. And uh Shah, right, with the menorah looking like sign. Yeah, same with Shah, exactly. Exactly, yeah, yeah. That's why it see that's the funny, it's a spirit. That's why I always say it looks like a W, but in my mind it's because I because I learned this first. Mm -hmm. This looks like a W. Right here. So La Shah. And then you have like almost like a half seven, short seven, I should say. And that's wa, right? And wa here is like a little hook, something that you put like a thread through. Okay. Yeah, that. Yeah. That's because the wa represents a fish hook. Right. Wa wa. Right. Yeah, well, yeah, that, kind of. that, that's a thing well, 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 you know we'll get into next time. Yeah, right. yeah. it's kind. Of, yeah, we'll definitely have mm -hmm. to do a series on this, Lord willing. Oh, yeah, Delicious. and then another one, little little seven here. That one looks bigger than the other one, right? So we'll go. Wow, and that would be right here. See, they have two characters. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. So you see, you beat La, Sha, Wa, and then you see the little little dot on top of the second last character. That means you would take away the last letter of that continent or of that sound, and you would add it to the letter before it, which would be Lash one, so W A, you would add the N. So it'll make it Lasha one. Mm -hmm. So that's how that works. So yeah, Lasha one. There you go. Um, but going back to you said Genesis, right? Genesis eleven, now Genesis ten, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, this will go into that real quick, all the nations yeah. following us. That was the language that was given. It's telling us here. With the record, yeah, right? and so words, know, this whole this was this holy tongue, yeah, right. But anyway, go ahead. Um, so we know that uh, originally in the beginning there was one language. The whole world mm -hmm. was a speech, and that was the Lashawan, mm -hmm. right? Lashawan Kadash. So it says Genesis ten and twenty four. Actually, before you go there, brother, jump yeah. down in, in chapter ten where you were reading to verses six and seven, real quick, okay, and then go to it. Okay. okay, it'll just all right because we since you already brought it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, Genesis ten and six it says, and the son of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and Foot, or Put, and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, Sheba, or Seba, and Havilah, and Sab Sabatha. So oh, so like it. Are you at uh, uh, Genesis 11? Oh, I thought I said Genesis 10. Yeah, no, I said where you were, 11. So, so like and oh, just yeah. read verse 6 and 7. So like okay, so Genesis Go ahead. 11, verse 6 and 7, it says, mm -hmm. And the Lord Allah said, Behold, the people is one, okay, and they ahead. have all one language. Mm -hmm. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Because they were right. building, at this time, they're building the Tower of Babel. Right. Separation was coming, though. But this was the pure language, the one language. But separation would come after. We, as we now, <laughs> uh, as we now know in the Revelation that the Lord separated us from them. But this was yeah. the language that everyone spoke. OK, now you can go there, brother. Genesis 10. 25 to 20, excuse me, 21 to 25. Yeah, so, I'll just read seven real quick. Go to mm -hmm. and let us go down and confound their language okay, that it. they may not understand one another. Beautiful. Right? And Beautiful. So you, got a, you got a broken up, you had a, a breaking up of the original language. Right? And, and that's Lord why took, the Lord Abraham, took it away from them, basically. Yeah. yeah. That's uh -huh. why when Abraham went into um, the land of, he, he got, he went into, he was in the land of Canaan. We just read that precept in Isaiah 18, or Isaiah mm -hmm. 19 and 18, that five cities of Egypt would speak the la language of Canaan. You had different, like, um, dialects of the original language. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't too hard. That's why it wasn't too hard uh, for uh, Israel to speak, you know, to basically break in. Um, the Babylonian language into the Hebrew, making it, and then the Assyrian language into the Hebrew as well, because they were kind of speaking. The Phoenicians were kind of speaking the same language as uh, as the original language, because that original tongue was still passed down, as we're gonna get. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, let me jump down to here. Genesis ten and twenty four. <coughs> And our facts no, that uh, no start at 21, 21 okay. to 25. So lucky. that's okay. Yeah. Genesis 10, 21 to 25, real quick. If uh, and just says, record. God, unto Shem also the father of all the children of Eber. Right? Uh, we'll get that, we'll get the word Eber. Mm -hmm. The brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Elam, and Ashur. And our fact said, and Lud and Aram. 
and the children of Aram, Uz and Hul, and Gether and Mash. And our facts that we got Silah, and Silah we got Eber, <laughs> and Eber. Were, and and unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days were uh, the divided. That's a nomen omen. Yeah, we're going into preservation here for you folks at home. Uh, but that's why we're speaking this language today, because those were our fathers right there. It's listing clearly that the Lord preserved the Lashwan Kodash. Right? So, I mean, <laughs> when we say it, they say, uh, when we when we speak it, what do they say? They say it's strange. Uh, this is this can't be the real Hebrew. Da, 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 and mm -hmm. on and on and on. But anyway, go ahead, brother. Let's get that line uh, yeah. straight down. Go ahead. P leg means divided. By the way, that's why it says, "For in his days were the earth divided." <laughs> and his brother's name was Jokten. So let's get the word Eber in the Hebrew here. So Eber, so let's see how they how they Strong's H fifty six seventy seven, Aver, Aver. The definition for Eber is the region beyond, <laughs> right? Um, and also, you could say from the past region beyond. Yeah, it really means past. I don't know why they. Yeah, I know. It's supposed to mean past. Yeah, that's true. It changes. Yeah. Change it up, man. That's why you see. <laughs> so you look at, let's look at the word past here in the booklet. Let's see what it gives us here. In the booklet, Hebrew booklet. Past. Ha. Huh. Past or pass. I bar. I bar. Yeah, I looked up um past yeah. in blue letter if you look it up as well at sidebar. Mm -hmm. So okay, con. So when we yeah, go Yeah, because that was the language of the past, so that was that. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like it. And that proves that when Christopher Columbus came here, he brought uh, interpreters that spoke Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Right? So let me read this quick. This is from yeah. the uh Oh, you done? No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, this is from the from the Lost Tribes and um and Ooh, from the that's island. a eater. Right? That's a eater, man. <laughs> go so ahead. In, in this book on page 364, it reads uh the woman got off and spoke to Francisco in an Indian tongue to Montesinos, could not understand. Although he could perceive that he was being identified in the conversation, she then turned to her male companions to explain the situation. Upon hearing her words, the rose went over the Montesinos and to his utter, to his utter astonishment and say, Shamai Yashurala Yahweh. And it says, here, O Israel, the Lord Yahweh, our power, the Lord is one. They had reside in Hebrew and the fundamentals. Wow, wow, look at that! Yeah, and I think in that book they mentioned that he was from the tribe of Reuben. Yes, and, and, yeah. and his brother um, Ephraim or something is not is on an island nearby. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. Wow. Hmm. You even find that book? Where'd you get that book, bro? Um, <laughs> <laughs> this I like, got it like a couple of years ago. Uh, oh, okay, okay. On, on Amazon, I believe. Uh, you know. Yeah, so that's good. That's past the sidebar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, kind. Of, they kind of messed up on the on the on the the characters because they have the the Y. It's like a a Y, and you see here. The Y is I, and then um, the half square again, right? Which is here, Ba, right? And just so you can know, in the in the in the Phoenician or ancient Paleo Hebrew, 
it's like a circle for the eye, and the mouth would be like a almost like a hook, almost like thing, you know? What's it look like? Yeah. And well, then, when you turn it, yeah, like yeah, you see, you, when you turn it, it's really a, it's a house, right? That's what Bob represents. Like yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then right. the eye actually represents like a human so, eye. Let right. me, let me, Find um, out. so like, let me uh, share just this. Con, that's true. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, we got to get into that later, and uh, pull pull that picture up after you know. Yeah, the con. Lord's will and other lessons. Con, con. Con. And uh, that's the beauty of each letter, man. Each letter is um, yeah, it represents an, something yeah. and is con. a word. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. You know? That's right. Deep and wide. Wow. Please. Yeah, so Which shows me the most size an artist. Mm -hmm. That's true. Very, very true. Yeah. I bar. So, yeah, that's I bar, man. I got one more priest I'm going to bring out. It's kind of late. We can close up. Yeah, kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, but, but the good point is for the brothers, out. man, for first, like, we teach ourselves, man, through the spirit. Absolutely. And then we're telling, you know, through the spirit for your brothers, man. Mm. Don't sleep on the Hebrew, you know? Exactly. Yes. Because that's a thing that should be second nature, man. Aren't you a Hebrew Israelite? That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. I'll start at 11. It's just, uh, it says, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. So study, man. Work hard and study. Understand the Hebrew to the best of your abilities. Mm -hmm. Lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Mm -hmm. Right? So if you find it wearisome to, to learn your own heritage and your own customs, that might that might mean that you don't actually believe and you gotta pray. Because this is this is our history, man. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of the so of the soul and the spirit, and this happens when we speak in English, man. You know, imagine if we were breaking if we were breaking down all these scriptures in Hebrew. Hmm. <laughs> Holy, and yep. uh, the joints and the marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts of the intent of the heart. You know, so you know your pray. I brought this out because. This happens to demons as well. So if you when you curse demons out in the Hebrew, this happens. When you when you pray, and you pray for what you pray you pray uh, for the blessing of your food in Hebrew, it has more power. Come, that's, mm -hmm. that's the Lord's word as well. It's written in Hebrew. Yep. So that's it for me there. I don't know, if brothers, have any last. I got a quick preset. Okay, uh, Acts twenty six and thirteen. And fourteen, mm -hmm. and I read um, at midday, O King, I saw in the way a light from heaven about the brightness of the sun, mm -hmm. shining around about me, and then which journey is that, is that right? Journey, yeah, yeah. journey yeah. with me. It says first fourteen. And when we were all falling to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and mm -hmm. saying in the Hebrew tongue, So, yeah. so, why persecute thou me? It is hard for thee to keep against the prick. Yeah. Uh, Beautiful precept. Yeah, that's it, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ancient, right? The, the, tongue, the, the tongue from the past, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's how he spoke. That's how Yahweh spoke to Paul. Beautiful. Yes. Wow. That's beautiful. I, I, I have to bring on this precept in closing because um, where we, where we leave off because it goes right back to basically um, the, the pure language in, 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 in essence. It's a command and um, learning the Hebrew is a command as well. And this is what uh, it's bringing out. Um, this is Deuteronomy 31 and 19. If you could read that um, for me, in, right? We can leave off there. But mm -hmm. 31 and 19. 
Okay, that's uh, by the way, that's law 613, right, which comprises all the laws. And that's what we've been re reciting right, uh, right now in the form of the language. So if you could read that, uh, brother, and that's it. That's all I got. Okay. So Deuteronomy 31 and 19, it says, Now therefore write ye these this song for you, and teach it to teach it the children of Israel, put it in their mouth, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. Oh. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a scary thing when you think about it. The fear of the Lord has to be upon you, man. Yeah. Right. Wow. You know, as the elder brought out earlier, you mentioned about real quick there about the uh, uh, the laziness. That spirit can come. That spirit mm -hmm. of laziness. But uh, the command is right here. You know, right. to encourage us, right? That's right. That's yeah. right. This thing's a song, man. It's a song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's a point on that. Beautiful. Okay. That's all I got. All right. So with that, we're going to close this lesson. And uh, Lord willing, we'll do uh, maybe a series behind these letters. The Spirit, yes. the spirit have it. So mm -hmm. with that, we'll close giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. Uh, double honor to the apostles and the elder Great Millstone who rule well. And has taught us this word in truth and sincerity. And uh, peace and mercy to the whole full left that are also pushing this word across the four corners of the earth, man. And uh, in truth and sincerity. And you little mind sisters that may believe as well. Mm -hmm. So with that, we're going to say a bottle of ball. A bottle of ball. Low wind to next live lesson. We'll say shalom to the whole shalom. full left. Shalom. 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 Shalom.